Mardi Gras Man 2-3 here and I've got a special haul for you today. I've got a couple packages here. I am working on a special project. Uh, by now you've probably seen a few hauls where a few of my closest YouTube buddies I've sent them out a special surprise. And I kind of saw something posted on Instagram and when I saw it I immediately said I want to do that for my fig. But I really didn't know how to come up with a blister card. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about by now. So I, Bricks for Chris sent out a little special, special little collector's item that he put together. And it kind of gave me the idea that I'm going to do that for myself. I know a lot of guys want to do it. It's just a matter of taking the time to do it. So I reached out to Dan Solo. And I got a, looked around the internet. The first thing I had to do... I had to get some cases so we got this big priority box right here and I got to tell you I bought this from a shop called um, Hobby Supply Direct let me cover this up I mean, I'm sure you don't mind they wouldn't mind me giving you their information but this is from Hobby Supply Direct and I think I ordered this on a Wednesday night and I got it on a Saturday so you talk about quick turnaround. So let's see what's in this big old box. And this is it's just cases. It's not Lego related. It's not Lego, but we're going to call it Lego related because it is going to go with my Sig Fig and my collector's item. So what it is, is it's this right here. And I have got, it's a two pack, so I've got 12 of them. I think I might have got 12 or 13 of them. I'm not really sure. We'll count them up and see. But I got enough to do 23. And you'll see why in a second. So we got 24 of these. Or 12 two-packs. But here is the main thing for this haul. So this package right here came from Dan Solo. And I got to tell you guys. If you're not watching Dan Solo Galleries on Instagram. You really should. He is an artist very very talented artist and he does some commission work he's got a website where you can go buy some of his art he shows just about everything off on Instagram he actually has a YouTube channel has a website I highly suggest you go find him if you haven't because he can do just about anything you need and he worked with me back and forth for about an hour coming up with this design and uh, I'm telling you, he got it shipped out within two days, and it's Monday. I think we started working on this maybe Tuesday night. And it's less than a week, and I've already got them. So let's take a look what they are. So you can see it's just a package here. So let's see what's in it. So first of all, if you, if you are following him, you saw that out of the blue, he did a rendition of me really honored that he took the time to do that so I had to have one of those so I got that and then this is his latest work this is uh, Elza from the movie Frozen he sent that to me for my daughter but check these out guys let me get into this I don't want to tear them bear with me guys bear with me so here they are Look at that. That is going to be the backer card for my collectible Sig Fig. So as you can see, Chris did 20. I went with 23, hence the name Marty Grown Man 2-3. I'm telling you, I really think this is sharp. I hope you guys think this is as good looking as I did. So he put this together for me. And what's going to happen is we'll put one of those inside of one of these cases. Bear with me. I'm kind of a little excited to get this. So let me get these cases open. So we'll take one of these cases like this and then put the card in it. And then so the card will go in it like so. And then what we'll do is we'll put a few plates on the bottom put my fig in it and there you go I mean guys is that is that gonna be sharp 
Alright guys, so we are back with part three, or actually part two to this haul. And we've got one last BrickLink package here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut into this and I'll show you what this is. And this goes with the other two items. Just give me a second to get this open. So, dump all this stuff out. And as you can see here, we got some... We got some trans windows. Those are from my Washateria mock. We got some tiles and a few miscellaneous pieces. Yellow tiles. Some of these miscellaneous pieces are from my train shed that I'm uh, kind of got all the parts that I need listed in my want list. Some of them are from my. Oh, look at this guy. He takes all this stuff together. Some of this stuff is from my. Watch the carrier mock that I'm working on that I have an outstanding BrickLink order for, but okay, so we got some tiles. There's some pieces. You see some green, some green tiles, a bunch of miscellaneous pieces. There's some purple one by twos, those are for the project. There's some purple, uh, some green one by twos. Can't speak. Those are for the project. Here's some red hats. Need those to make some sig figs. Some uh, one by light gray tiles those are for the washeteria and some doors so what we're going to do is we're going to take these right here put them on what i already got and i'll show you the finished product all right guys so here is the finished product tell me what you think now what i decided to do you can see on the card there you see i got i've already got the cases set up with the cards in them i've got them numbered one through 23 there's going to be 23 of these i've got I actually bought too many of these, but I did that on purpose, as I remember, because in case some of them were cracked or scratched, or I'd have some extras. And that's what I came up with, guys. I've got the purple, green, and gold on the bottom. I've got myself centered in there. See, the only thing I kind of messed up on on the design is I went a little too low with the YouTube, because I didn't t account for the tiles. But that's all right. I think it looks really nice. Got the Lego up top. I don't think there's going to be any issues with this. I talked to Dan about it, and because we're not reselling these, shouldn't be any problems. But that's it, guys. So I've got 23 of these. Now, I've got a few of them out there already. I've sent them out to some special YouTubers. Uh, hopefully, by now, they've all uploaded their hauls. Hope you enjoy it. I know Bricks for Chris is, was real excited, and he kind of set the bar, guys. He's put this out there, and I had an idea to do it, like I told you, when I saw Dan Solo Galleries do his rendition of, um, he did, I think he did Bricks R and Bricks for Chris, and he did these backer cards, and like I said, I immediately wanted to do that, so I kind of just went with, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do if I did decide to do it to make a blister card. And then Bricks for Chris put his together, and I thought that was that was pretty pretty slick. So I kind of got right on it. This is what I came up with. Tell me what you think, guys. I really like it. I think the finished product came out really good. Hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like it, of course. Click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you later.